Well, because it can make all the difference in the experience of reading and ultimately of, of living it out. Um, what I don't want to communicate in the way that the book is framed and written is that if your heart isn't in the right place, then you should never open your Bible uh, or that a sovereign God can't still work miracles in your heart. Um, but I think at, at one point in the book, I say something like, you know, he, he can kind of microwave a cold heart whenever he wants, but why not? Uh, in the chapter on prayer, approaching the Bible prayerfully, I'm making the point, you know, he, you, can, you can go into Bible reading cold and he can do what he wants in your heart. You know, he, he could just kind of microwave it, but why not ask him first? Mm-hmm. But why not um, think about the, the state and the posture of your heart? And I think an obvious reason why it's important is because uh, one thing that's unique about Christianity among all the religions and philosophies and worldviews that I'm aware of is that uh, it's, it's ultimately about our hearts. So yes, uh, it's, it's important to practice the spiritual disciplines, but the point of Bible reading, among others, is that we would know and experience the, the living Lord uh, who loves us. And so to the degree we can um, prepare our hearts to um, open the most important book we own, our experience of reading it will be enriched and our ability to live it out by God's grace um, will be served.